It's over there. phoenixlongevityarts.com and today's video we're going to talk about training kata or tao lu or form. Before we get started please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, add this video to your YouTube favorites folder and if you could share it on Facebook so other martial artists can get benefit from our lessons. And follow me on Instagram. I'm there under Jake Mace Tai Chi. We're putting photos and videos out that are beautiful every day. So please follow under Jake Mace Tai Chi at Instagram. And if you want to follow us on Facebook, we're at facebook.com slash jakemace.taichi. In this video, we're going to talk about how to perform your Tao Lu to the utmost of quality. And one of my teachers from the past in my 20s named Matthew Lee, he gave me a tip one time. And what he said was to train each form or Tao Lu or Kata five different ways. And that way, you focus on one concept each time you go through the form. And the first one, was focusing on technique. The second one was focusing on deep stances. The third one was focusing on smoothness. The Chinese say Shen Li. The fourth way was focusing on fighting application. And the fifth way we called testing. And it was focusing on all four of the previous ways into one form at the same time. So let's do a simple intermediate form right now that my brown belts are working on currently. And let's try to perform that short Tao sequence five different ways so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So the first way to perform the Tao Lu or the Kata is to focus on technique. So once we do our bow, I pull in, down, then lift the leg and pull the hands in. Step forward and extend the arms out. Then pull the hands in again, look to the left. So my focus is on really crisp technique, crisp movement. Step, press. Clean, precise, surgeon-like. Walk down, strike with the right hand. Circle the hands back, lift and extend the arms. A good extension. Chamber to the waist and punched bow stance. Now pull in, twist, hit, grab, twist, and pow, connecting fist to the left hand. From here, deflect, cross behind the elbow right. Deflect, press out, elbow right, but look to the left. Then from here, I go block, punch, under, twist the hands, and then open. From there, we sweep and jump forward. Sweep and jump, chamber. Punch into horse stance, circle to the left, elbow up. And then step out, ah, reverse punch, pinky up into a horse stance with this hand up, shoulders dropped. So that was the first way, focusing on technique. The second way to perform the Tao Lu or the Kata is for low stances. So I don't want you to focus on anything else but having deep, low, painful stances. Bow. Breathe in. The knee is considered a stance. Lift it. Extend. Deep, pull in, press out, deep horse, get that butt down, back straight, from here, strike, circle back, lift that knee, Whoa. lock it in, strike, deep bow stance, really deep, it's conditioning, hit grab, twist, step forward, another deep bow stance, now a deep cross stance, cross, sink down low, a deep bow again. then block, Strike another deep bow. From there, under, twist, open. Sweep, jump to the deep horse. Circle up, natural. Another deep horse. Hips, legs. This is what makes yourself a better martial artist, that burn. Let's go to the third way. The third way to do the kata is for smoothness. Oily smooth, Latin dance smooth. Focus 
only on being as Tai Chi like, like Wa Talk, my friend, as possible. Don't focus on techniques, stances, only focus on the smooth. The Chinese say Shen Li, smooth. From here, bow. Faster, smoother, not as much pausing on the transitions. Let's go for the fourth way. The fourth way is actually my favorite because I love sparring. I love the challenge of fighting another opponent in a friendly manner. And so it is the performance of the Talu focusing on fighting somebody through the movements. And so this is where I let my mind go into the matrix and plug in and 80 ninjas surround me and it's go time. Bow. Breathe in. Got this guy. I see him. He's over there. Walk him. Hit him now. Circle back. Hit. Twist grab. Bang. Hit him now. Double him in the room. Get him in the Lock his strike. Hit him in the face. Twist back over. Sweep that guy. Strike him in the body. Hit him in the chest. And then the fifth way is combining all of the four previous ways into one. So I'm trying to capture the technique, the deep stances, the smoothness, and the fighting application all together and do my best to represent all four previous concepts at the same time. I really hope this helps your guys' practice with form, kata, or taolu. No matter what martial art you study, I really love Chinese gong fu and kung fu. But if you practice taekwondo or karate, karate, or even forms that you might find in other martial arts, this concept of practicing each form five different ways was a priceless tool that my teacher gave me. And I use it even to this day to keep forms fun, interesting, and to keep myself improving day by day. I'll see you guys next time.